Hi, this is Glenn Riker over the hedgerow. Last week I gave you a little bit of a tease on this pond, this stream. It's 35 feet long, flows from left to right, uh, 8,000 gallons an hour max pump, which I ran it at most of the time. And uh, it flows underneath a bridge and into, this is called a pondless stream because there's no pond to maintain. It just goes into a reservoir, which makes it a lot easier for most homeowners. This is a short video shot. We'll get more drone video in a little bit. Um, we started with a flat area on the front of the property. Lake Michigan is behind this house. This is on the front side of the property along a big front porch. And we had to build up the top base in about three and a half feet so we could get some flow down into the bottom. A pondless reservoir or stream is powered by a holding reservoir. These are the basically high-tech milk crates, if you will, that you assemble after calculating how many gallons you need to be in the reservoir. And you will put them in the reservoir. We dug the reservoir out here. You can see the milk crates assembled. Just stack them in there. Put the snorkel in there. That's the one with the hole on top. That's where the pump will sit. Obviously, there's a rubber liner underneath there and underlayment underneath that. The biggest problem with building pond with streams is making it look natural. The best thing to do is look at a lot of pictures of Mother Nature if you don't spend a lot of time out in nature and see where the eddies and the pools are going to be because you want this to look like natural and somebody just didn't back a pickup truck full of stones in your yard. Water gets pumped out from this snorkel. Pump gets dropped in there and then run to a power supply. And uh, you don't see this. You'll see that this gets covered up. And you can walk on it. The water flows over it, um, which you'll see in the videos at the end of this. If you watch all the way to the end, there's some great videos of this pond and stream running. Four-inch pipe runs all the water up to the top. Uh, once again, a little bit of trickery. We get the quarry to cut large boulders in half. So they lay flat on the liner. We also put protective uh, lining underneath that. But it looks like a gigantic boulder, and it's really just a half a boulder here. You can see the young weeping nori spruces the first year to help protect, and you don't see the neighbor's uh, blue garage. We also planted tiger eye sumac behind that. This is about two years in. You can see the bristlecone pine to the left that we broke the camels off every year to keep it nice and full. The pond is growing in. This is a couple years in. Unfortunately, everything we could do, we couldn't save the cut leaf Japanese maple. Just a little too cold and too much exposure at that part of the site. You can see it's starting to grow in, hiding in the neighbor's garage when you're sitting at the base of the stream looking up. Lots of daylilies. You got the yellow fall, you got the yellow color of the tiger eye sumac all summer. Got evergreens around there. We've got ornamental grasses behind there, some panicum, and a nice glider. You can sit right here in the glider. And all that big rock is where all the power supply is connected to an outlet. So you don't see the outlet or the power supply. And then it just runs through a PVC pipe to the pump. Everything's hidden like that. And now I'll, I'll leave you with a little bit of sound of this. And we'll just let Mother Nature do her job. You can see the walkway that leads up to the pond. Well, thank you for watching and if you like these let me know in the comments if you'd like to see other gardening videos or biking or sailing videos and just remember these are like can be a great do-it-yourself project it takes a lot of skill and time to do what this is done i put a lot of these in which is why it looks natural but this is something that a homeowner can do on a lot of different scales this is just a drone video uh, showing from top to bottom just flying about 10 or 12 feet above the pond there's no sound with drones uh, obviously but this just gives you an overall view 
of what the stream looks like from top to bottom, along with the frogs, sculptures that love sitting in the stream. On the front of this property, right in front of the pond, you can hear the pond as you walk down this walkway, this street, but we put 800 daylilies, bare root daylilies, along the edge of the property that are just gorgeous uh, from midsummer all the way till uh, early fall. Four different varieties of plant material in there of daylilies. Using bare root daylilies, that number saved the client about $10,000 in material cost versus buying them in containers. We deal with the best growers throughout the country to identify the plants that we need for our clients. Thanks for watching.